What's up, everybody? Canuck here. Very excited about this. Welcome to the very first 2021 TGC Tours National Treasure Design Contest official playthrough. Oof, that's an absolute mouthful. Uh, over the next few weeks, we're going to be playing a whole bunch of absolutely outstanding, unique courses from some of the best designers in PGA Tour 2K21. So if you want to see all these outstanding courses, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you like what you see, please like those videos as well as they really help me a lot with the magical YouTube algorithm, however that works. So uh, anyway, for those that don't know how this design contest works, uh, it is one of the few on the calendar that is an official contest. It is run by myself and Victory Lane Sports. He is the administrative uh, guy that gets everything going. The head organizer, I do the fun stuff, the playthroughs and all that. So absolute huge thanks to Victory Lane Sports. It would not be a contest without him. Uh, so signups were a few months ago. Uh, we had our field. And what happens in this is I think this what makes this contest a little bit interesting from all the other ones is not only do you have to make the best golf course, you also have to fit it into a certain country that we give you. So... Uh, Victor Land Sports and I selected a bunch of golf, or not a bunch of golf courses, a bunch of countries uh, that may not be huge golf countries. There's some are a lot bigger than others, as you're going to see in this first video. This one is a huge golf country. Um, and designers were at random through a wheel spin on a selection show that we did on Twitch were randomly assigned a country. So this made these top, top designers potentially really work out of their comfort zone. Maybe they're not familiar with that certain theme or look. So they really had to kind of switch things up and see what they could do with something maybe they're not super comfortable with. And I'm looking forward to seeing what they've done. Uh, so for those that do know the channel, um, I originally I've been kind of back and forth as if I was going to do these playthroughs or not. The content has kind of dipped a little bit for me as I've been kind of trying to prevent burnout and playing a lot of PGA over the last few months. Um, the publish open window was today and I looked through, saw some of these courses that came out and I got really excited. I'm like, you know what? I got to play these. These look outstanding. I want to play them. I want to do this content for you guys um, and for myself. So that is why we we're doing them. So I'm going to be playing every one. Uh, now there isn't pool of alternates and a few of the alternates will get into the main field. I'm not going to play all the alternates. It's just there's way too many of them. Uh, so apologies to those in the alternate um, pool. But uh, yeah, I probably won't have time to do a video for, for yours. Okay. Without further ado, let's get started with our very first course. And we are headed off to Japan. And we're going to be playing a course simply entitled Hideki. I'm assuming he is named that after 2021 Masters Champion Hideki Matsuyama. And just by looking at that screenshot there on the left, is that just screams Japan, I feel, for me. You gotta love those little bonsai trees. I think that's a bonsai tree, is it not? I don't know. It's, it's one of those kind of Japanese-style trees. And uh, you're gonna expect to kind of see some really finely manicured uh, fairways and rough. It's gonna be really clean. And probably some little splashes of color and stuff here as well. So uh, designer of this course is Honey Badger Hacker, who admittedly I don't know a ton about. But when I did pop in and take a couple screenshots of this course, I was uh, absolutely amazed at this look. So uh, without further ado, let's let you guys uh, take a look at this golf course. Now for purposes of judging, I am not a judge in this contest, by the way. I'm just going to be doing playthroughs and trying to you know, highlight the awesome stuff, try not to give any sort of constructive criticism. Look at this opening tee shot here. Wow. I absolutely love the planting down by the water here. And that is a great way to kick this contest off here at Hideki. Let's do a quick little um, flyover of this golf course. And as you can see, it is kind of what you would expect from a Japanese course. It's you know, very finely manicured. Uh, looks like he did it in the boreal theme. So a lot of these boreal trees, little splashes of color here and there, which look great. Look at this awesome clubhouse. He's built out of a bunch of office buildings. He's even got a little tunnel there. I mean, just the creativity that's coming out of these, um, especially with buildings and stuff now, it's just absolutely wild so i love this just this first t area it looks stunning so very cool i think we're in for a treat here at hideki so let's kick things off 
with an opening drive. It is a, an ugly red slow. Um, also, those that have been following me a lot have seen me been struggling with the, with uh, playing this game. I'm not very good at it anymore. Uh, it's been that recent uh, gameplay switch, which I'm very happy they did, but I'm terrible now at the game. So I have moved the difficulty down to pro swing difficulty just to hopefully make it a little bit easier on me. And so I'm actually showing you guys the golf course, not me hitting out of bushes constantly. So kind of uh, two reasons for that. All right, so let's play some golf. So we got to hit a third shot here. Try to get it close and save our par. That's not too bad. Okay. So yeah, I think we're off to a, uh, a very nice start here. with these golf courses. Can't wait to play through them all. Unfortunately, we're starting with a bogey on the first, but hey, score doesn't matter here. We are just looking at these great courses. Love that little waterfall here on this short downhill par three second hole. I'm going to hit a little eight iron. Let the wind and the elevation carry that pretty darn close to the hole. Yeah, we'll take that. Get it to nine feet. And boom. So we nail the nine footer. Make the birdie. All right. So we are off to the third. Short par four here. Uh, all water on the left. And we'll see what we can do here. We don't want to be too far left. Now, this is just perfect. Okay, so this is going to set up for a fun second shot. We got to clear the water. We got to clear those bunkers there. Ooh, lots of lots of break in these uh, in this uh, fairly large green here, but it's a short hole. You kind of want to protect uh, you know, not super low scores here, but we have a great opportunity at an eagle here. Look at this second shot. Do we have an albatross? Oh my goodness, what a shot. <laughs> wow. I will take a tap in eagle any day. There we go. All right, heading... Kind of inland away from the big uh, water feature river area into a longer uphill par four. As we crush our drive, I'm really liking the, uh, the the choice of trees and I think he's just nailed the Japan vibe. So I think of all the countries that uh, we selected, I would say Japan was maybe the most... I mean, the one that people golf that is more popular with golfers, I would say. It's more of a golf country than maybe all the other courses we picked. So did that necessarily give Honey Badger a bit of an advantage? I mean, it might have because he had more to look at. But um, ultimately, it's his course and he's created some pretty cool looks here. Really like the trees. Now he's tried to make almost these like little Japanese temple kind of looks here so really really liking what he's done looks wise fifth hole down the hill here 66 all right i like this not bad i think well actually no it's long Oh, I was I couldn't be more wrong. I thought that was not bad, but I was not even close. We're gonna have to flop this or splash this on here. Tough pin, real tough pin. Not a lot to work with there, and we have not left ourselves an easy par putt. No, nope, we are going to miss it. Talk about all over the place with score <laughs> these first few holes. 
Bogey, birdie, eagle, par, bogey. Almost every possible score imaginable. This is a fantastic looking tee shot. Just lovely here. Yeah, just kind of what he's done with that little road and a really heavily planted kind of water feature there. You can tell he's done a lot of research on uh, how a, maybe a Japanese course might look. Maybe a little bit stylized, but damn, it does it not look pretty. But, uh, you know, also at the end of the day, locale and, you know, how close or how realistic you've made it to the the country you were given. Yeah, it plays a factor. But at the end of the day, it's who made the best golf course. So and it always is. But it's just uh, the whole country thing. It's just a little added wrinkle to, to make things a little bit more more fun and something different. All right, the seventh at Hideki, short, very short par five, but very tough driving zone. I love this. Wow. Tee shot looks great. I find his sight lines and his tee shots are really strong. The lighting is nice. I like the moody, cloudy lighting. Got to avoid the pond here. This could be pretty good. A little long. Last time I said it was pretty good, I was way off the green, so... That's not great, but we do have an eagle putt. Try to get this down the hill. Oh. Whoa! Way long. We got it. In for the birdie. So we're heading to the 8th. So I do tend to play these you know, fairly quickly. I'm going to try to keep these to kind of between 15 and 20 minutes. Uh, just so you guys get a quick uh, quick highlight of this course. And hopefully it lets you guys get out there and, uh, and play it. Now that is quite a pin. Maybe, maybe a bit much there, but well, let's see. How about we just put it in the hole? That slope is definitely fun. Get a bounce. Didn't quite get it high enough. Oh, I don't even think it's going to stay on the green. It's still just slowly rolling down. Finally comes to a stop. Look at all the grid lines on this hole. Or on this green, I should say. We're just going to try to get it close. Oh, we just hit the lip there. Wow. All right. No problem. I'd say uh, that, that green makes that a very tricky par three. Okay, heading to nine as we have the clubhouse in sight as we get ready to make the turn. 468 yards down 45 feet. It looks like we're heading right into this bunker here. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> what just happened? How did that not find the bunker? Wow. Unbelievable. I've never seen a bounce like that. I've played a lot of this game. Uh, that was about as fortunate a bounce as you can get. See if we can take advantage. Looks like we're a little long on our second shot. And we are, but that's okay. Sitting all right. 45 feet. This is breaking a couple different ways. I'm going to try to get it somewhat close. That'll work. And we will tap in Oof, our par. Okay, two under 33 to kick it off. All right, we head to the back. Again, just spectacular planting off the tee. He's done just a great job with that. Really, really nice work. 
loving the visuals here. Okay, that will work. 164 in. I think we're going to hit a... Let's go 8 iron here. Got that 11 mile an hour crosswind. Ooh, we hit a slow, so that's going to push it further right than I wanted. Get a bounce, kick left a bit. We can live with that. I like this. No, nope, I don't. Okay. Par on number 10. So we're moving to another fairly lengthy downhill par 4. Got to watch that big cross bunker. That's placed really nicely. Especially with a wind like this, that is going to come into play. So we're going to be careful. We probably should lay up here, but... No, I think because we talked about it, and you're going to notice in these playthroughs, whenever I talk about a feature like a bunker, I will end up in it almost all the time. It's like a magnet. All right, so let's hit a little gap wedge out of the sand here. We definitely got the slow, and we're into another bunker. Came out a little bit more than I thought, and wow, that's a terrible shot. And that's another terrible shot. So <laughs> that's this new... Um, I really have to figure out how to hit out of the sand now. So recently HB has done a new uh, swing mechanic kind of tweak, and it's really punishing uh, like red fasts and slows, and it's kind of borked the short game. <laughs> As you can see. Oh my god. I didn't realize. That's, it shows how little I've played it since the update. But that is... That's atrocious. Anyway, I apologize yet to see that. That was embarrassing. Alright, heading to the 12th. Let's not try to get into any more greenside bunkers. Because, wow. I've got no words. That was just brutal. Alright. Looks like we got a bit of a slow here. What a beautiful golf course. I am just, I'm very impressed with, uh, with the look of this. I'm, I'm all, I'm a sucker for a, a unique looking course. And this is definitely one. That is a tricky little chip. Bay on the green, it did. Okay. Four par here on 12. That triple bogey on 11 did not help, but we do make a very tricky putt to save our par. As we head to the par, 3-13th, 187, a lot of water in play. I think we're just going to probably play it out to the right here and see if we can let that little uh, hill there kind of direct it towards the hole. Well, we hit that fast, so that's not what I wanted it to do, but this is going to look... This is going to be really nice. Yeah, I think we'll take that. I think we'll take that on 13. Taps in the birdie. We will take it. 14 is a dogleg mid-length R4. That tree could be a bit of an issue. I try to stay to the left of it, but instead we're going to be to the right and short of it because we hit a, an ugly slow. Ooh, that puts us in some trouble. Well, we're going to hit three clubs up and we're going to try to hit a big old fade. Come on. Uh oh. Not a greenside bunker again. <laughs> no, I've really got to figure out how to do that. Because all my all my bunker shots are very fast, so we need to figure that out. Oh, but we almost almost dunk it. There it is. There she is. 
bogey on 15. Wow. My bunker play in the it's almost like my real life bunker play. Or inside bunkers anyway. All right, straight on par five here. 550 yards. Okay. Ooh, very nice shot here. So, I mean, I, I think he, Honey Badger is pretty darn generous with his par fives. I don't know if we just got good wind or what, but we've had pretty good eagle looks uh, every single par five. And we've just made another one. I think that's our second one of the day. We've had two eagles. We've had a triple bogey. We're all over the place at Hideki. And we've got a really fun, fun short par four here. It could be very dangerous. I love how this fairway is kind of cambering towards the water, but I think we're going to try. We're, we're going to go for it. In these playthroughs, there is no laying up unless we absolutely have to. And this is hit, I think, almost perfectly. Get going. That is an ideal shot here. Maybe a little higher, but... Wow, that is basically pin high. And we have 28 feet for our another eagle. It's got a break. Oh! <laughs> Almost had it. Wow. I'm doing back-to-back -back eagles. Doesn't uh, Which does not happen too often. All right, 17 long par 5, or par 4. Down the hill, though. Now it is kind of thinking, do I try to hit it here, see if it bounces down? I don't know if we're going to be able to just because we have uh, that wind is an issue. Kind of right in between clubs, unfortunately. Ah, I probably should have tried that. That's a tough drive. Look at that. He's even got some uh, Japanese characters written in you know, some flowers there. I would need a translation. I'm not sure what that, that means. Does that mean Hideki? Go, 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 go. But a uh, nice little touch there. There's a good shot. Oh, I hit the pin. I hit the pin. And I don't know what that was. That was just a very poor, very poor short putt. And nothing else to say. Thanks. All right, 18, a par three. Okay, a little short par three here to finish it off. Now he's got another, almost like this is a, an alternate green here. I don't think it's actually in use, but that's kind of a neat idea. You see that in some places. Almost like two different greens. Or unless that's a unless that's the practice area. I can't tell. No, I think that's just another green there. So kind of a cool little touch. Wow, another dart. We're just doing good on the par threes. And we're gonna tap it in for a very adventurous two under 68 was a par 70 and uh, that is our very first playthrough at Hideki I very much enjoyed this course um, I think we're off to a great start can't wait to play the rest of these courses and again uh, please make sure to like and subscribe so you guys can check out all these outstanding golf courses thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll be back for the next one shortly